When I think about this one is Jimmy and I and, and Dave Lynn, and Dave Lynn hadn't been on the scene um, that long, and I think we were doing a tribute, that particular one, to um, Brian Cooper, who was uh, Lee, Lee Paris. And very, in fact, the backdrop looks better than the, than the actual costumes on that. This was a wonderful person, uh, which is Colin Devereux, who was Dockyard Doris, and we would, he was, incredibly enough, um, I was doing Mae West, and this gentleman, I uh, can't think of his name, isn't it ridiculous, and he was doing um, Elizabeth Taylor, never looking as big as that, but um, Colin was such a professional man. Oh my goodness. Uh, these are costumes. That is what dames should look like, or ugly sisters. And this is uh, myself. Uh, and when, uh, um, oh God, think about names all these years ago. I think that was done in, in Dubai. Chris Hayward, of course, and myself there. And he made all these fabulous costumes. And very, that was good. Oh my goodness. One of the pride concerns, and again, using the May West. And we had nice weather then, so I was so pleased that I had the big hat on. I'm trying to think now, I wonder where that costume is. Must be hanging up in the, in the shed outside. Oh, that's one of my favorite ones, doing Widow Twanky. Nate, John Nathan Turner with our connection with um, Doctor Who. Never looked like that on Doctor Who. My goodness, memories. Oh, another, another butch one when I was coming up in Estepona. I was, went over there as David, but done a show for a couple of friends of mine. That was his 40th birthday, and he flew 40 people out there. And, uh, and the actual club is still going. I'm getting big headed here now. When I go out to some of the opening nights, um, yeah, quite. I wonder if I can fit into that. Oh, this is one of the latest ones that I, I had done last year and I thought of the word now, airbrush. No, not airbrush, just clever makeup. And uh, Mr. Jim Nixon filmed, well, filmed or took that shot for me. I use that as publicity. Are we going now? Oh, Jimmy Trollett and I again. I think with that, I don't know what poos I got there. I look if I'm top heavy. But um, look at the backdrop. Chris Hayward and I again. And, <laughs> oh God, let's bring back memories. What on earth would that have to do? Well, I think it was when we were going out hunting, when we were doing uh, um, Cinderella and we were looking for the prince, when we said, um, where are you going, sister? Well, I'm just going f for a tramp in the woods. And she'd say, oh, well, I hope you find one, and that kind of thing. One of the pride outfits, and doing it. My God, look at the waist. I don't think it's only about a couple of inches gone. I think that was a 21 inch waist, so I'm still getting it at a 22 or 23. That's another pride with Phil Starr and I on the flutes. My goodness me, bless him. He's been gone about six years now. And another one of him. Wonderful man. So much talent. He started out when he was doing Soldiers in Skirts. Dockyard and Colin. I have no idea where that is. That's a wonder I'm not... Oh my goodness me. You're getting these out. Mr Danny LaRue and I, when we were in uh, Gran Canaria. And that's the wonderful thing where I said, I'd like to sing a song <coughs> called um, On Mother... Ke <coughs> Excuse me. On Mother Kelly's Doorstep. I don't suppose that anybody know the words, and that was currently when he had a hit with that. And he called out and said, are you sure you know the words to this? And uh, sort of kept his name secret, and everyone think, oh no, another one where having a send up with him. My goodness. Just, a, I don't know why I've kept that, something significant. I think it was the first civil wedding I'd done. <gasps> wow. Buzz Butler and Scott St. Martin, and when we were at La Cage Fall. And after we'd finished, we all went out to Archie Dunlop, the most amazing man who's still with us in his 90s. And that was in Las Palmas. Look at Scott. Saw him the other week. 
He looks like his own son there. Now that, to me, that was a good, wonderful um, a costume that Chris Hayward made. I think that's still in the shed, I must look at it. Don't know who the gorgeous boy is up there, but there we are. My goodness me. This must have been one of the first sort of Sulu things when there was as Maisie Trollet. And that is ridiculous because none of the um mind you, it's what it is, it's what drag is about. Still see it's a man. And the eye the eye as well. Old oh, memories. That is my very first gay pride flute thing. And everyone look at the hat down there. And the wonderful man who made those costumes, unfortunately he's rich, he's not with us now, but got lots of attention on that. My favourite of sisters was Chris Hayward and I. That was taken in Dubai. Um, very first pantomime that they had there in Dubai, World Trade Centre. And trade is an operative word. We were absolutely besotted. Because when all the women have their masks on, you see they only see her eyes, so they didn't realise what real women actually looked like. And this must be one of my favourites. Lunch with Auntie Maisie, shockingly good grown-up entertainment. I don't know where that was in. And when I was looking at this a little while ago, near Abbey Life, which went to Abbey National, now it's Santander. Oh, look, my good and special guest, Paula Nightingale, yeah. And Tim Nail. Tickets, 15, a three-course lunch for £15. You can't even buy a bowl of soup for that now. And that's, that's one lot of the memorabilia. So if there's anything else I can um, think about, I'll probably come back to you a little bit later.